Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for October 12th, uh, 2019. Um, the sun's starting to go down. Uh, I'm actually a day early with the video uh, this time because uh, getting ready uh, to go to the flea market uh, in the morning and uh, picked up a bunch of stuff, a lot of large items. Uh, hopefully they'll sell tomorrow, uh, but I wanted to get them in uh, this week's video. I've been doing that a lot lately, uh, going to uh, the flea market. Uh, it's a great place to uh, sell things that don't quite fit on uh, on eBay for one reason or another. Um, but uh, uh, let me show you what I got. A oh, uh, big papa probably won't be uh, making an appearance today. The chickens have started uh, uh, making their way back to the coop. The sun's starting to go down, uh, so, but you never quite know with him. Uh, never can be 100% sure. Uh, first thing up to show you, uh, all these were on a quarter table. They're all good names, mostly craftsmen. 13 pieces came to $3. I'll take these to the flea market and put uh, two bucks a piece on them. Uh, so, hopefully turn three dollars into thirty six a uh, good example of an item that uh, goes much better at uh, the flea market than it does on ebay uh, picked up a uh, amp something i really don't uh, buy too much of um, but uh, this is a, a rolling KC60 uh, keyboard amp. Uh, here's one here, went for uh, 199 um, with free shipping. And here's one here, went for 150 with free shipping. So I uh, paid 20 bucks on this. They were asking 30. Uh, still got to test it out. Uh, they seem like good people. Um, so I'm pretty sure that it'll be okay. But uh, uh, not quite sure where I'm going to take that. Uh, might try it at the flea market tomorrow and see what happens. Uh, my wife got herself a Christmas uh, wreath. Uh, pretty well made. Uh, we have a ton of Christmas stuff. And uh, so uh, we're very particular about... Uh, the decorations we buy anymore I think we have enough decorations for two houses uh, so this one's pretty nice uh, well made all hand painted um, and most importantly the wife likes it uh, got a harpoon pretty cool uh, they had 35 or best offer I offered 20 and the guy took it it's not a real harpoon uh, it's a reproduction of one but uh, looks pretty cool uh, hanging up uh, from the ceiling or in a, a restaurant. Um, haven't even looked it up to see what they go for. But uh, 20 bucks, I'm pretty sure that'll uh, leave me some room to make some profit. Pair of boots, uh, two bucks, Raven's boots. Uh, wife got herself a pair of slippers for two bucks, still in the package. Uh, Finally got some a piece of Militaria for myself. Um, well, for resale on eBay. Canteen uh, dated 1943. Uh, no telling where this canteen has been. Um, paid eight dollars for that. That's an easy twenty twenty-five patch. That'll definitely go on uh, eBay. Uh, paid a buck for it. That's a $12 patch. Um, some uh, pictures. These were uh, uh, 50 cents a piece. Laura Denaro, Denaro, Denardo studio, studio, signed by Laura Denardo. Uh, pretty interesting. The uh, tugboat scene is really nice. 
and a winter scene. Can't go wrong, 50 cents a piece. Uh, some old books from the 20s. Uh, Deerslayer, uh, illustrated by uh, Wyeth, famous author. Alice in Wonderland. I sell a ton of Alice in Wonderland stuff. Uh, it has quite the following. A lot of collectors, a lot of people just love it. I think somebody's going to love having an old Alice in Wonderland book um, on their shelf. Oh, what was that? June Seidel, date January 1927. Uh, is that class pass? Not quite sure. Um, and uh, old Pinocchio, this one's pretty neat. Iceberg Express. Um, it's got everything. You got a polar bear conductor. A mermaid, uh, Mary Louise, and the mermaid board the board the express. Pretty neat. Uh, the books were five apiece. Uh, ceramic Christmas trees. You see a lot of these around this time of year. Uh, people love these things, and they actually bring pretty good money. Unusual one here. Uh, the size of the bulbs uh, are huge compared to uh, the normal ones. Um, but uh, that was uh, five and four. Um, these things can bring big ones. Uh, look them up on eBay. They bring crazy money. Um, but uh, may try it on eBay. I hate the thought of packing it. Uh, but we'll double box it and FedEx it and uh, uh, if they're willing to pay the shipping I'm willing to uh, ship it. Uh, Longaberger uh, ornament, two bucks. A pair of Shawnee Puss in Boots uh, salt and pepper shakers. Uh, the, you can always tell the, uh, the pepper has less holes than the salt. Uh, Entenmann's man uh, bank. They also made this in a cookie jar. Uh, got him for four bucks. Love the mid-century modern. Uh, I guess that's a carafe or a coffee pot. Uh, it just screams mid-century modern. Um, Three dollars on that. That's an eBay item. Uh, got a entire box of jewelry. You see. Everything, six dollars all. Uh, six bucks for everything. Um, there isn't anything like really over the top. Some interesting uh, pieces here. Um, that one is signed. Accessories. Accessor craft. Um, this one. You know, look up a lot of these. Uh, scripture wear. Um. Atlantic City, uh, JC's, uh, then what is it? Uh, Variety Club. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's uh, for your uh, put the lipstick in there, and this flips open for a mirror. Um, some swank uh, tie tacks. We'll group those together. Um, oh, it's uh, Roanoke. Uh, Roanoke Natural Gas. Uh, this could be very, uh, very collectible. And uh, best of all, we got two of them tie clips. Um, just, oh, take a look at this one. Any idea? Is that weird or what? It's a uh, crocodile or alligator. Um, and there's a chair dangling from it. Uh, you got me signed on the back. But uh, this is weird. Um, so for six dollars, uh, can't go wrong. Uh, probably we'll, we'll pull some pieces out of here, and then I'll take the rest of the box to the uh, to the flea market and uh, uh, 
probably put like 20 bucks on it at the flea market maybe threw some other junk in there and uh, unload it uh, some Kirk's Folly uh, Christmas uh, charm bracelet Kirk's Folly always does well if I can find a hand tag the uh, hang tag um, let me show you what it looks like Kirk's Folly that's what it says um, that's probably I don't know what we're going to put on that. Probably somewhere around, uh, I don't know, 50 or so. Uh, love the uh, the old necklace here. Um, maybe somebody could help me out here. I think this is, uh, well, it looks like mid-century modern to me. Uh, looks like uh, some uh, carnelian uh, and uh, some green agate. Uh, maybe some quartz in there, um, but uh, just a really nice, cool piece. Uh, five bucks on that. Uh, I think we're gonna put around 125 on that. Love the frog. He is so well detailed. Um, even underneath, not marked, uh, but uh, he was five bucks. Open, we'll test him and he turns out to be sterling. Even if he isn't, that's a cool piece. Uh, some really old Victorian uh, brooches. Uh, they were five apiece. This one's really neat. It's a brooch, but it also has a locket. And I uh, love the old uh, buckle. Uh, moving on. Uh, violin. Uh, somebody painted white and had it electrified at one time. Uh, that was uh, $10 on that. Uh, manure, love buying manures. Uh, that was uh, 5 bucks. Marine band. Harmonica. This is a uh, numbered uh, anniversary edition. Uh, Cutco always goes well. Wasn't cheap, 40 bucks for everything. This knife alone goes for uh, 60 on eBay. Uh, gold flatware set, still in the box, add 20. I got it for 10. Soap leaves, um, little books of soap. I guess you put it in your purse or something uh, when you don't have soap. Um, 50 cents a piece. Uh, rod holders, two bucks a piece, brand new. Um, planes I'm going quick here because I'm running out of battery uh, buck a piece on the planes uh, molding planes make your own molding I uh, got a uh, Gibson Epiphone uh, guitar 30 bucks uh, that goes for around 120 150 on eBay and uh, check out the horse uh, Uh, he's a flea market item. So, uh, there you go. Uh, paid $10 for the horse. Um, probably get about 30 or 40 at the flea market. So there you go. Check out my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of this stuff will be appearing. Until next time, it's Willie Yard Sales Vivalist. And we'll talk again soon.